A home isn't just a roof over our heads. It's a necessity, and many of us think of it as a basic human right. As a millennial, I've had ample time to understand that I will never own one myself. Today, building wealth through wages is only available for a very select few high earners. When I see homeless people on the street, I really can't imagine how you can so why like that? We want to help them integrate in the society. Just because you say that everyone has to have a home to live, that doesn't have to mean that it is free. That feels like quite an elementary ex expectation. Now it's worth like 30 million euros. Uh, we could sell it and all become rich, you know. The good conscience is the one thing that these huge real estate uh, management agencies don't offer. And this is uh, nothing we want to have. I think we really have to work against that. So you want oligarchs to pay more? Yeah. Okay. I would just really decommodify housing completely. Social housing is not as popular as it once was. Many nation states subsidize middle and upper class wealth building instead of solutions for the poor. But there are remaining devotees. Finland, for instance, has introduced a method to cut the Gordian knot. The policy of Housing First deals with homelessness by, well, providing homes to the unhoused. What an ingenious idea! In many other countries, municipalities and NGOs are at the forefront advocating for more humane policies innovating in technology and in ownership structures, and some of them even build their own houses. And we have their colleagues with us today. So let's curl up on the couches of bikes and rails and talk shelter. what Housing First as an approach, as a methodology means. When we start working with uh, our tenants, uh, usually we start social work before they move in into a municipality owned or a, or a privately owned uh, social housing agency uh, flat. We want to help them integrate in the society by, by organizing these community events and uh, like self-help groups maybe or like community groups. Uh, we have like a women's group, we have a group for like uh, new tenants and old tenants to help each other out. Our social workers go to trainings so they can help, uh, help our tenants deal with their trauma and yeah. Peer support is pretty important and it's something that we only recently started to do in our organization. Housing First says that housing should be a given to every human. It has to be applied to the special needs of that person and it has to be provided for however long that person needs it. For some it might just be a year or two, but for some people uh, this might mean that they need it till the end of their lives. Talking of housing, I would just really decommodify housing completely. I think housing should be uh, accessible for everybody to look for a low rate as a human right. And uh, it also has to be democratized, like Tenants who live in the house should be able to like, um, also organize uh, how they want to live together. Please explain to us how this works with Bikes and Rails, that it cannot be monetized. Bikes and Rails uh, housing project, it's a project that was uh, completely planned and also is still self-organized by a bunch of people who got together. We were like uh, 30 grown-ups and um, around 14 kids. For us it was uh, clear in the very beginning that we wanted to um, like provide more than just beautiful flats for ourselves. And what comes out of this construction is that you actually live in a house, uh, you pay rent, you also pay from the very beginning, you pay a very small amount in the beginning uh, of your rent goes to the habitat uh, to make, uh, make it easier for next projects. On a long perspective, you really can build up with this autonomous housing projects. You can sort of 
uh, build up a whole pot where you can finance other housing projects like that as well, which actually starts to happen in Germany uh, in the moment. So what does the social housing agency do? It deals with private property, right? It involves private property, um, mostly the apartments of people who move abroad, but they have their um, apartments vacant at Budapest. We are responsible for that there will be no harm done to the apartment, or if there is, then we will um, fix it. So you are the guarantor yes. towards the owner? Yes, in a way also that we guarantee that take out um, private apartments from the market pool and bring the prices lower. The rent coming in or the bills being paid, uh, they can just lay back and also have a good feeling about themselves that they are um, doing something good. So having a passive income with a good conscience, yes. basically. <laughs>